Hi, Gerald here. Today I am working on. Oh, come on now. <laughs> uh, I'm working on this. I want to install this thing. Originally, my plan for the winter was to put the boat at a uh, at a dry dock or up on a yard, a boat yard somewhere, and uh, paint it and do a little bit of fiberglass work on it, and um, and then uh, leave it there for the winter while I get a motorbike and drive it down to Uruguay, because I've got friends in Uruguay and it's really nice in Uruguay during the Canadian winter, and uh, so I was going to bike down there. Uh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, uh, if we're going to be able to travel with this variant, this uh, Delta variant coming. Um, so I think I better prepare for winter just in case, because the furnace I have in here right now is what's called an S-bar, and it's a forced air furnace, and it's about 1700 BTU, but it just doesn't make it. And another thing I don't like about it is when it starts up, it blows cold air, and where the vent is set, is right blows cold air in your face and then after blowing cold air it blows like really hot uh, dry air <laughs> in your face so it makes sleeping a challenge and um, I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to spend my winter being challenged I'll be challenged enough so uh, I'm going to get this thing called a hurricane zephyr and what it does is, it's made in Canada, it's actually invented in Canada, it's 100% Canadian from conception to uh, production, uh, which is very unusual and rare. But um, it heats water as well as, uh, it's based on a water system. So what it does is it, uh, it has radiators inside the boat and uh, it constantly runs. Uh, the problem is it'll use a lot more fuel, so I'll probably only have a week to two weeks fuel on hand at any given time. The other option was to get a wood stove, but that would require me cutting a chimney in the top of my boat, uh, which would greatly reduce uh, any chance of uh, selling it or insuring it or being able to moor it by a dock. Um, <laughs> so that's a big uh, drawback. Uh, secondly, you know, if a spark comes out of the chimney and lands on my sails, well, that's a huge problem. Um, so I ruled the wood stove out and I'm going with this Hurricane Zephyr and uh, I'll just have to go back and forth to the fuel dock uh, once a week which is probably not a big bad deal I can always stock up on food while I'm there anyway that's what I'm doing and what's uh, where I'm at right now I'll talk to you later take care